A federal appeals court didn't take long to weigh in on a locker room lawsuit involving a local school district. The judges unanimously upheld the Boyertown School District's policy, allowing transgender students to use the bathroom or locker room of their gender identity. Katira Winfrey is live at the federal courthouse in Philadelphia with more for us. Katira. Today's decision, another win in a more than a year-long fight. The plaintiffs say the fight is still not over. Today's unanimous decision in favor of the school district came down in just 30 minutes, shocking both sides of the debate. Aiden DeStefano high-fived his mom after a federal court upheld a lower court's decision allowing the Boyertown Area School District's policy for restroom and locker room use to stand. I was able to have the rights as I did then. Now everyone else can have the same rights as I did. DeStefano officially started the transition process three years ago when he attended Boyertown High. The way I look now, obviously I look a little bit different. His choice to use the restroom associated with his gender identity in part led to the lawsuit. School Schools have a duty to protect the privacy, safety, and dignity of all students. Every student matters. Alexis Lightcap is one of the students behind the suit. Plaintiffs say the policy violates their privacy rights. Instead of listening to my concerns, they made me feel like I was the problem for feeling uncomfortable, unsafe, and vulnerable with the boy in my bathroom. Part of the hearing centered around body privacy and rights. As they're saying that transgender students should be required to use separate facilities apart from everyone else. Else. Not because of their own comfort, but because of someone else's belief that who they are, their very presence is unacceptable. Beliefs about gender shouldn't be a license to violate privacy inside locker rooms and restrooms. That defeats the very purpose of having separate facilities. Every student should be able to go to the school knowing that their privacy is protected. And the federal judges plan to deliver their full and formal decision next month. Reporting live in Philadelphia, Katira Winfrey, 69 News. Thanks, Katira.